This video will demonstrate zero-touch deployment capability of the Citrix SD-WAN solution utilizing an 1100 standard edition device. Before we begin the demonstration, I would first like to review the network topology used for this demo. In this environment, we have an MCN hosted in the Demo Center cloud with a static public IP defined for an available internet WAN link, which gets natted to a private virtual IP on the interface 4 of the SD-WAN instance. SD-WAN Center is also deployed in this network, which we'll use as a central controller to authenticate our communication to the zero-touch deployment services hosted in Citrix Cloud. With this zero-touch deployment process, our on-prem appliance will start in factory default state, and as it's powered on, we'll leverage the local internet WAN link to call home to the Citrix Cloud ZTD service and attempt to auto-configure itself. Before that occurs, as an admin to this network, we will need to authenticate SD-WAN Center, which allows the active configuration for the on-premise device to be temporarily stored and available in the Citrix Cloud service to be ready when the appliance eventually calls home. To begin demonstration, the configuration, which includes the new site, has already been updated and pushed out to the existing SD-WAN devices in the network. From our MCN, we can see that the paths are not yet active for our new BR1100 site. We'll initiate the zero-touch deployment workflow by navigating to the SD-WAN Center web interface and logging in with our Citrix Cloud credentials. With the communication between our central controller and the cloud service successfully authenticated, we can then select any of the available sites from our active configuration, which have not yet been deployed, and prepare the new site for zero-touch deployment. Select the site for enable and click deploy. In the deploy new site window, we will populate the required fields. Input the on-prem device's serial number and an email address that you would like the activation to be delivered. The serial number input for the admin is optional, allowing for the on-site installer to manually input by reading it off the device itself or the packaging. There is also an option to input the street address and any additional notes to the installer that would aid in their installation. After the site is selected for deployment, the site will be removed from the Prepare New Site table and moved to the Pending Activation table, waiting for the on-site installer to perform the remainder of the workflow. An on-site installer will shortly thereafter get an email with an activation URL, which they can initiate to view the activation status. If the admin had not inputted the serial number during the previous step, the installer would have been prompted to input the serial number at this point. The zero-touch deployment process will continue as soon as the installer physically cables and powers on the device. The cabling is important in that you need the management port to have IP connectivity to internet in order for it to call home with its serial number for authentication purposes, as well as to retrieve its specific configuration package. In this use case scenario, we are purposely cabling the device per the topology in order to make use of the bypass state of the interfaces before the configuration is activated. Once the configuration is activated, we are dependent on internet service and dynamic NAT on the local device to continue the communication with the Citrix cloud service to report back completion of the zero-touch deployment workflow. At this point, the zero-touch deployment process will continue as soon as the installer physically cables and powers on the device. The cabling is important to match the configuration and also that you need the management port to have IP connectivity to the internet in order for it to call home with its serial number for authentication purposes, as well as to retrieve its specific configuration package. In this scenario, we are purposely cabling the device per the topology in order to make use of the bypass state of the interfaces before the configuration is activated. Once the configuration is activated, we are dependent on the internet service and dynamic NAT on the local device to continue the communication with the Citrix cloud service to report back completion of the zero-touch deployment workflow. From the activation URL, we can see the success of that call home attempt. After successfully connecting, the device will download its configuration package and any software that may be required to join the existing SD-WAN overlay. Once the software is successfully installed, the configuration will be applied and the device will be activated. A temporary 10 meg license file will also be installed, allowing the system to establish virtual path with the MCN to confirm successful overlay connectivity through the available WAN link. On the MCN web interface, we can confirm the proper establishment of the virtual path for any WAN links that were properly cabled to match the outline gateway IP address defined in the applied configuration. Any additional WAN links will require the appropriate size license and additional cabling to the device. 
With this zero touch deployment process, we can quickly and easily scale our Citrix SD-WAN deployment to thousands of sites. This concludes the demonstration of zero touch deployment capability of the Citrix SD-WAN solution.